G'day folks, just a bit of a quick amplifier update for tonight. Um, this one here, I spent a bit of time testing and removing caps and they all seem to be fine given considering their age. I'm almost 100% positive that the uh, outputs are short and they're certainly imbalanced. The two that they re were or replaced with are the wrong ones. It's a completely different transistor in place of that green one. There's supposed to be two two greens in the middle and two blacks, one on the, each outside and they've replaced one of the green ones with a completely incorrect transistor it's something I discussed on the uh, Geek Group IRC a while ago and came to the same conclusion that one of these two is short, I haven't taken them out and tested them but I'm going to order a repair anyway everything else seems to be fine, I'm getting good voltage, the filter caps are fine that's all good, there's no hum, there's no nothing It's it just seems to be a uh, output issue. One of them's short, or almost, almost short. So I'm going to order some parts for this and resurrect it that way. Everything else seems to be fine. Even the the potentiometer that's bent over is just for mic microphone and uh, is it microphone and source equalising. Uh, again, doesn't seem to have any real issue. The potentiometer still works fine. It's just the shaft slightly bent. But yeah, I'm almost positive that it's uh, shorted outputs, so I'll, I'll replace both pairs. And this amplifier here I've had for quite a while longer. It's been sitting around for about a year and a half. Again, it was a scrapyard find. It's a Sherwood uh, DigiLine 3 ProLogic Dolby Surround. It's one that's definitely a much more modern amplifier. And. Uh, it worked, seems to have absolutely no output from the main channels at all, like nothing. And if I turn up the uh, centre speaker, we get a lot of AC hum, so I'm going capacitor chasing. I'm not done with this one, that's for sure. It's uh, getting alternating current hum through the speakers, and absolutely nothing out of the uh, main output stage. It's telling me there's something seriously wrong in the power supply side of things, not so much the um, the output side, I guess. It could be an output issue, but when I get that kind of hum, it's usually the main filter caps. It's on normal. Not very happy. To test tone. It's going through the testing stages. Still nothing from the uh, main speakers, but the funny thing is, there's no 50 hertz hum coming through from the uh, test signal. Yeah, if I go test center, I don't get that 50 hertz hum coming through with it. So there's a power supply issue. It could be to do with preamp. Um, yeah, not 100% sure, but this looks like a much beefier amplifier to run in the workshop anyway. I'm after something nice and punchy. The amp that I'm running at the moment is a Luxman L230, but it just has no guts to it. It probably needs another recap, a rebuild, something like that. I know Luxman are pretty powerful amplifiers, so again, that'll be another uh, project to get into over my uh, summer time, I think. Uh, anyway, I'm going to keep plodding along with this one. If anyone's encountered this problem, let me know, but at the moment I'm just going to go capacitor chasing, particularly the two main filters. Uh, the main, well, that's actually a standby power supply. That's the main power supply for the amplifier. It's just a straight-out transformer. And uh, seems to go back through to here. And those big rectifier diodes. So it is sort of part and part the power supply. I haven't taken the bottom cover off yet. Turn off the test tone. Yeah, it's 50 hertz hum from the power supply. Bad caps, bad caps. Thanks for watching.